To the outside world, Red Bull Racing's atmosphere seems much calmer, but a lot is happening behind the scenes. Red Bull's championship leading start to the season has been blighted by negative headlines, sparked by an investigation into Christian Horner's alleged inappropriate behavior. Red Bull's parent company, Red Bull GmbH, dismissed the allegations on the eve of the season, but a month later, it rumbles on with reports the woman who accused the Red Bull team boss has appealed decision. The FEA is also reportedly evaluating an inquiry relating to the allegations by Horner's accuser. In the middle of it all, Joss Verstappen has called for Horner to step down as team boss and has done so more than once, while Helmut Marko was drawn into it as he revealed he would be suspended over an inquiry into leaks in the Horner Sago, but that never came. A day after Horner was cleared of wrongdoing, a host of messages allegedly sent by Horner to the complainant were leaked. Screenshots duly went viral on social media, with Horner himself refusing to comment on the development. He has frequently denied any wrongdoing and continued to work in his role amid the investigation. And speaking in Saudi Arabia last month after being cleared, he called for an end to the saga. From a battle for power that is taking its toll on the team, as suggested by David Croft, to Guido van der Gaard, pondering whether Red Bull's off-track drama is beginning to impact their on-track performances, after Verstappen's Australian Grand Prix retirement, Red Bull is a team that still appears to be in conflict. Sky Sports F1 commentator David Croft has expressed concerns over the potential long-term impacts of the Horner controversy on Red Bull Racing. Despite Horner's exoneration following an investigation into alleged misconduct, the incident may have lasting effects as it goes through an appeal process. Croft has voiced concerns about the impact of these issues on the team's cohesion and focus. If there's a lot going on in the background that is grabbing the attention and draining the energy levels, that might take a toll eventually. Croft also highlighted the pivotal role of Helmut Marko in guiding talents like Verstappen and the special relationship he maintains with the drivers. This comes after speculation of a rift between Horner and Marko, with the latter rumored to consider leaving the team. Croft noted, it's a long, long season ahead. Marco, at the end of the day, is the guy who has guided Max Verstappen in Formula One and throughout his time in Formula One. Marco has that special relationship with the drivers because that's his job. That is his purpose. Christian Horner's future is subject to the results of that appeal. I'm sure it would take a toll, not just on Christian, but his family as well. As the season unfolds, Red Bull's ability to maintain focus and cohesion will be crucial. Their rivals, notably Ferrari, have shown they are capable of closing the gap, as evidenced in Australia. Any slip-ups from Red Bull could provide an opening for their competitors to capitalize on, adding pressure to an already tense situation. With Red Bull's off-track saga overshadowing Verstappen's on-track results, his father Jos has not only called for Horner to step down as Red Bull's team boss, but he's also reportedly been in contact with Mercedes's Toto Wolff, this has led to speculation Verstappen could leave Red Bull, although Max himself has denied this. That, though, has done nothing to silence the rumors. And according to Viaplay analyst Ernest Gnors, fuel was thrown on the fire at the Australian Grand Prix when Horner talked up Carlos Sainz's performance as the Spaniard capitalized on Verstappen's retirement to win the Australian Grand Prix. But while initially his comments about Sainz, the only driver that's beaten Red Bull were thought to be in relation to the second Red Bull seat of Perez. The Viaplay analyst reckons it was actually aimed at Verstappen. I find this very interesting. I think you should also see this a bit in relation to the power struggle of Christian Horner with Helmut Marko and Red Bull Thailand with Red Bull Austria. If Christian feels that Max Verstappen, Jos Verstappen and Helmut Marko are putting a little pressure on him, he can think, well, someone likes signs. If I bring him in, then I have someone with whom I can potentially become a champion. That would increase the pressure on Max, because I don't really think Max is eager to have signs as a teammate. I think there is a large part of politics involved, and Christian is of course politically very smart. The woman who accused Horner of inappropriate behavior towards her hopes to return to work at Red Bull Racing. According to a report in The Independent, she intends to return to her position irrespective of the outcome. Furthermore, the complainant is also reportedly set to take her case to an employment tribunal, should the initial decision to clear Horner be upheld. The accuser was suspended following the conclusion of the original hearing, but has remained on full pay. It is understood she has also raised the case with the FIA, 
filing an official complaint with F1's governing body. However, an FIA spokesperson was not able to confirm whether it was looking into the matter, per the organization's policy. A statement read, At the FIA, inquiries and complaints are received and managed by the compliance officer and the ethics committee where appropriate. Both bodies operate autonomously, guaranteeing strict confidentiality throughout the process. As a consequence, and in general, we are unable to confirm the receipt of any specific complaint, and it is unlikely that we will be able to provide further comment on the complaints that we may receive from any parties. The complaint against Horner has also been used politically as part of an internal power struggle behind the scenes at Red Bull. But Horner's position remains strong, thanks to the backing he has from Red Bull majority shareholder Shalom Yudivia, while Austrian company CEOs Franz Watzlawick and Oliver Minzlaff have now also given the Britain their support. Talks between belligerents in recent weeks have led to an uneasy public ceasefire taking hold, for now. Though Helmut Marko says he is staying for now, the significance of this Verstappen intervention is huge. It is the first time he has indicated his place at Red Bull could be influenced by a matter involving someone else and contrasted sharply with the qualified comments Max has made around questions about Horner's leadership. You can never say never. If a driver doesn't want to be somewhere, then they'll go somewhere else. But I can't see any reason why anybody would want to step out of this team. I think he's got great support around him, and he's doing a wonderful job with a great car. Verstappen is under contract with Red Bull until the end of 2028. That deal is bound to have exit clauses, but in any case, Red Bull has to play a part in ensuring he wants to stick around, rather than just waiting to see if he does. The wider political play within Red Bull was of little interest to Verstappen, outwardly at least, until Marco got dragged into it. Now the warring factions are meddling with his situation, so how that gets resolved is relevant. The Guardian report that should the complainant, who is yet to be named, lose her appeal, she will go to an employment tribunal where the particulars of the case could go into the public domain. If the employee is not happy with the decision, then they can appeal internally. And at the end of that process, if they're still not satisfied, they can go to an employment tribunal. In those circumstances, the confidentiality that attaches to internal procedures would no longer apply. A final hearing is open to the public during which information about the case is available, including the nature of the complaints, witness evidence, submissions, the tribunal's conclusions, and a written judgment. It was previously said that neither the complainant nor Horner has seen the full report that was complied by a KC and from which Red Bull made their decision to dismiss the grievance. Red Bull's winning streak came to an abrupt end at Albert Park when Max Verstappen suffered a rear brake issue, causing him to retire three laps in. Perez also struggled, receiving a three-place grid penalty for impeding Haas's Nico Hülkenberg in qualifying and finishing fifth overall in the race. Verstappen's DNF puts him only four points ahead of Charles Leclerc in the Drivers' Championship, with Ferrari also closing in on Red Bull and the Constructors.